Here's an NBC 26 News update. I'm Nina Sperano. The Manitowoc County Sheriff's Office has made an arrest in a double stabbing. Officials say 27-year-old Jesus Sanchez de Gadillo faces two counts of battery. They believe he stabbed two people at a residence in Brilliant and then headed to Green Bay. Officials believe he knew one of the two victims. Both of those victims went to the hospital. A warning as we move on to this next story, the video is graphic. Tensions are high in Minneapolis tonight after a fatal officer-involved shooting at a suburban city. According to police, during a traffic stop, an officer who fired at a black man intended to use a taser but instead used a handgun. An officer can be heard shouting taser before a shot is fired. I to say that our hearts are aching right now. We are in pain right now. And we recognize that this couldn't have happened at a worse time. The incident has sparked violent protests as officers and riot gear clash with the demonstrators overnight. Time now for a check on our local forecast. Here's Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Nina, we had highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s earlier today, our warmest day since Thursday, and more than likely our warmest day for the next week, week and a half or so. We've got cooler weather moving in tomorrow, upper 40s to lower 50s, lots of clouds, showers developing by the afternoon, mainly rain showers, but a little wet snow or sleet could mix in. We'll continue to see some scattered showers through Wednesday into Thursday as well. Once again, they will be in the form of some rain, maybe some sleet, a little bit of snow. Drying out for Friday and Saturday, sun and clouds, highs in the mid 50s. That's where we should be for this time of year. And then a chance for some more precipitation Sunday and Monday with lower to mid 50s. Have a great night.